chest, but you can buy pieces like the queen, king, and fire mage. That's not just some insane positions where I literally lost my mind. Let's get into it. The first variant is capitalist chest, and I'm not gonna spend super long on this variant because one, the UI is interesting, and two, I played against a terrible bot that for some reason I just couldn't beat. Now, the way this variant works is at the start of your turn, you get money, <coughs> sorry, doubloons that you can use to buy pieces. This led to some interesting positions. I mean, we have two, four, six, eight queens, and the bot only has two four, six, seven queens. But I just got forked because I didn't realize what just happened. Nothing really happened for the rest of the game. We just kept spawning queens until I declared a draw. Now, this variant is really, really cool. It's like if Capitalist Chess and Anna Chess had a baby, and that baby made me want to bang my head against a wall. Basically, it's fun with a ton of new strategy, but I'm really bad at it. For this variant, there are four gold squares. The more gold squares you cover, the more gold you have. Now, you can buy all the normal pieces, including a king, in addition to a couple new pieces that can cast spells but can't capture the opponent's pieces. So, we start off the game with a symmetrical opening, trying to control the gold squares. After that, I decided to play Risky and I castled into my weak king side, and he responded by buying a fire mage. Now, fire is bad. If a piece moves through fire, it disappears. So I decided to blunder a pawn for no reason at all. He responded by buying the swapper, which can swap your piece with an opponent's piece. After that, I targeted his gold square and found a pretty nice tactic sacrificing my knight. My opponent responded by swapping my pawn with his pawn, opening up his rook before buying a frost mage. Now, I thought the strat was buying powerful pieces like the queen. And no, the strat is buying the spellcasters because of stuff like this. Overall, he had the better position even though I controlled the gold squares. Then he bought a fog mage before castling. Now, this piece is really annoying because it covers part of the board in fog. But then he bought a kinetic which can push pieces to other squares, which was even more annoying. Once I had enough money, I bought another king. After that, he froze my queen and eventually captured my new king. Now, I bought a scout which can actually get rid of the fog, because if I can't see his king, I can't capture his king. Yeah, things didn't really go to plan, and thus started the Great King Hunt. As you can see, I didn't go down without a fight, even though the game was kind of already done by then. I knew I was going to lose. Let me know in the comments, should I do another video on these variants? If you enjoyed this video, check out this video here.